Through back roads and almost empty villages, we followed Ukrainian soldiers as they led us eventually to the main motorway which connects Kyiv with the west of Ukraine. Within a few kilometers, we saw the remnants of tanks and troop carriers blown up as they headed towards the capital city. The highway is almost entirely closed. Further west from Buzova, we came to Peresivka and the site of another Russian supply convoy which had been destroyed. We can't actually go in uh, and walk closer to these vehicles because there are ordinances of bombs all the way up and we don't know whether they are still live or not. We saw plenty of civilian cars. Some burned, others just abandoned, as people living near this battleground try to escape. Some cars were crushed as if tanks had driven over them. The third battle was in the village of Dimitrivka. This village was the scene of a quite an intense battle. We can see that some of the houses have been demolished and affected by mortar or artillery fire. There are two big battle tanks which have also been destroyed. Just beyond the village, heading north, these Russian soldiers were stopped from retreating further. In the forest, just in the area to make sure that none of the bombs or ordinances are Despite a morale-boosting week for the Ukrainian army, even bigger battles lie ahead in the south and east of Ukraine. Yolo Avdavid, CGTN, Kyiv.